Hey you guys, it's Megan and today is the day we are signing our lease and oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I like, it still doesn't feel real. I don't know when it will feel real, but I have on one of my favorite outfits. Um, it just so happens to be kind of like business suit-esque. Um, and I did my makeup, I showered this morning, like I just feel really good on the ball. And the sun is shining, it's been so dreary lately, it's very cold, but the sun is shining, so that's awesome. And Alyssa is heading to the house now, she lives about an hour away currently, so um, we're meeting at the townhouse to sign the papers and for her to see it in person for the first time, and honestly I'm a little <laughs> nervous about that because I was the only one other than my dad that saw it in person and I just um, FaceTimed her as we were touring so she saw it that way but it's always different in person and I just hope she still loves it as much. I hope I love it as much as we did when we first toured it and I can't believe that was only, was that only a week ago? Okay, it was about a week and a half ago. It feels like a month ago. Like, I can't even tell you the time warp that this has been. Like, I feel like we've been doing this forever and it really hasn't been that long and we are so fortunate that we found something that, like, really works for us, for our needs, that was in our budget, actually under budget, and, like, we got to the point of signing the lease like every other place fell through or just didn't work out for some reason or you heard my update last time with basically thinking we had a fallback place and then it being given away to someone else um which was like just truly shocking so it could have turned out very very different and we could be on this journey for a lot longer um but it seems to be working out i still have like a little bit of trepidation until we sign the papers and everything um but like just trepidation of getting too excited because i don't <laughs> i don't know i just don't want to get my hopes up of it being a sure thing until it's a sure thing so Oh my gosh, it's like wild, honestly. Um, I feel so grown up and um, I've been just having so much fun. Like now that we have basically the place, um, I've been able to start thinking about my furniture and like what vibe I want my bedroom to be and my office to be. And I'm going to do two completely different vibes. I'm so excited, you guys. And I've already been getting some furniture oh my god um yeah I've been just on Facebook marketplace non-stop like I never have used Facebook mar marketplace before but this week alone I have like messaged probably 20 people <laughs> for different things and a lot of them I realized oh like I don't really really want that or it's sold or whatever um but I did get a desk a display shelf for my Legos. I'm so excited about that. And me and my dad are picking up a dresser tomorrow. And oh, I love this dresser and I love my desk. They're both like refurbished vintage pieces. Um, and I just love it. Like it was love at first sight for both of them. So can't wait for that and like to put everything together once I move in and oh my gosh we're gonna have so much fun like doing decor and furniture and I'm gonna bring you guys along for everything <laughs> and I just think it's going to be such a cool like experience for us like because I've never really been able to decorate like I kind of do but I just always have had the same furniture 
since I was in fifth grade and I've bought like my desk and my Alex drawers and like just some cheapy like plastic drawers but I never like really invested in furniture before and I'm still trying to get like good deals of course but um I'm just really excited to basically like yeah completely start from scratch and um just see what I want to do with my different spaces and probably in two weeks I'm gonna go to Ikea because they have a few things that I want to see in person and Alyssa wants to go too so um we're gonna do that together and oh, it's just so crazy I I honestly can't believe um, this is all working out and I am going to go freak out a little more um, and then we're gonna drive over to the house yay <laughs> today I'm wearing parfum de Marley Cassilli is my fragrance I love this perfume and I think it's just such a happy fragrance and I just wanted to have this be my fragrance on this really fun, happy, monumental day. So I'm wearing that. And this week I finally got my hands on the Billie Eilish fragrance. And this bottle is a work of art. It's like a sculpture, which is so cool. Um, and I can't do it with one hand, but this part where it's like a diagonal line, you take that off and then the spray is in there. And it smells really good. It's probably not my number one favorite fragrance of all time, but I just really, really wanted it um, for this bottle. And um, it's a very nice fragrance. It's like vanilla forward, but I feel like it has some complexity to it that I can't put my finger on what like, it is. It almost smells a little effervescent to me, which is really cool. So I just love how it looks, um, even if I don't wear it a ton, but I think I will get some good use out of it. But yep, I'm just like killing time because I'm like pacing. <laughs> so here's the desk I bought. Hopefully the color is coming through true to real life. It's almost like a salmony pink. Like it's bright, but it's muted like it's very nice um the lady did a really nice job and then the handles are gold and then half the leg each leg is gold and then i have stuff on here that i wanted to show you guys including this little bird which isn't he the cutest little thing you've ever seen in your life his one side is a little floppy but um that's fine i also got these things that i wanted to show you these are like command strip like decor items so this is like a shelf and this is actually like a bigger nicer size than i thought so i got two of these um because i figured we're not gonna like drill into the walls or anything like that or i would avoid it i also got this which is like a mirror and like a very tiny shelf and um like key hooks to put like right at the exit um at the garage door and i'm saving like any big boxes that we get they sent like a huge box for this order and that's all i got um just because those are really long so that'll be a good moving box and then um i'm trying to get boxes from like stores and things for free like go into the store and ask if they have any boxes they were going to recycle so I don't know how many boxes I need since I can take like as many trips as I want since we live so close. But anyway, these are some of my things I bought so far. So this is my least signing outfit of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I'm just wearing my favorite outfit that I always wear <laughs> with my Target blazer, Target shirt, good American jeans, and I don't know what brand these are, but I wear those shoes like every day. Coach purse. I love this purse. Chloe loves it too. She, I gave her the black one and she actually ordered the white one because she loves it so much. Nice. <laughs> so that was a great gift and <gasps> sweating, but you can't tell because I'm wearing a blazer. <laughs> and this is the shelf I got for my Lego display. This was also from Facebook Marketplace. It's like a 
kind of modern style with the glass and then there's no back. Um, but what I liked about it is that it has a lot of space between the shelves because a lot of my Lego sets are like taller. Um, and this was only $30. It was so, so cheap. Um, and I love that I don't have to assemble it. So have that and then this is a picture of me and Alyssa from kindergarten. Oh, so I'm gonna put this up in our new house. I'm so <laughs> excited. I love this picture so much. So I just have that like sitting there for now. Um, but yeah, lots of good finds so far for the house. Okay, yeah. you're your new house. You don't even know. <laughs> yeah, <surprise. laughs> your new roomie. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I know. Don't She's gonna out, be yet. so confused. Look at all of her hair. <laughs> We did it, you guys! We just left. Oh my god. Insane. And then there's no line at Wendy's, which never happens, so I'm gonna get a big-ass vanilla Coke to celebrate. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. I have been so busy this afternoon since the signing. I went through all of my like stuff that I've been saving up for years upon years um, for when I move out. <laughs> I've saved so many things for like the kitchen and all of this stuff so just finished going through all of that I have a big bag to take to Goodwill which is great um but I'm definitely gonna need to like get smaller bins or boxes because they're way too heavy to like carry um so I'm gonna need to figure that out in the next two weeks um and yeah i just have a lot i need to figure out <laughs> and now that we know for sure where we're moving when we're moving it's like okay time to make a plan um which i'm all about making plans so um that is that glad that that's out of the way because i didn't want to keep like shopping for things um like new things if i didn't know what i already had because i know what furniture and stuff i have but not like all the little stuff so now i know like i have plates i have cups like i have pretty much anything i could need um i have towels for like the bathroom and stuff like that like extra towels um extra sheets all of that so Anyway, I'm in good shape for that, but now I am tired, tired, tired. Um, and my sister suggested getting Red Lobster to celebrate, so we're gonna order that and go pick it up. Um, and I might go see Richard tonight, I'm not sure, but that will be all I really do tonight. If I don't go see him, I'm just gonna like veg. And even if I go see him, we're probably just gonna watch The Office because that's like we always just watch The Office and either that or Succession. Those are like our two shows. Um, and then tomorrow, oh yeah, tomorrow we're going to get a dresser, me and my dad, um, picking it up from someone's house through Facebook Marketplace. And then like in the evening, me and Alyssa are getting together to like celebrate, so that'll be fun. And then Sunday, it, there's supposed to be a huge snowstorm. So Sunday is like a bust to do anything out and about. So like I have to think of anything I possibly need, <laughs> which I doubt I need anything, but I do have a Target pickup order I might get today. Yeah, that's actually on the way to Red Lobster. So I think I'm gonna do that and yeah i just i have a lot going on in my mind i cannot wait until like post move in because once i get everything there then i feel like i'll be able to just like figure things out there and like figure out where to put stuff like that seems like a fun part of it but like this whole like planning stage is kind of fun but it's also very overwhelming and thankfully since I live close to where I'm moving, I don't have to like make one big move. Ugh, I am not like envious of Alyssa having to do that. So 
I feel very fortunate about that, but I still am like trying to think about what is the most efficient way to do things and all of that. So anyway, my mind is just always churning essentially. So if you have any moving tips, let me know. Um, if you have any tips at all about having a house or decorating or like cheap places to buy stuff or like whatever like I just want all your tips um because I know I'll like figure out things along the way but I love like sharing that kind of info with each other I think that's like really cool and helpful so yeah let me know if you have any tips like that but now I'm just rambling so we're gonna go order at Red Lobster we're just gonna pick it up and bring it home and then yeah I'll do my target pickup order so <laughs> what a fun life I have <laughs> So it's Saturday now and we just picked up my dresser. We're in the middle of nowhere and <laughs> the girl was so nice and um, definitely if I find more furniture from her, I would drive back out here if dad would accompany me <laughs> because it is like a beautiful piece and it was only $250, so awesome stuff. But we are literally driving on these little bumpy roads and it's so like nerve-wracking surrounded by farms yeah no targets out here <laughs> we pass this cute shop it's um, a mid-century modern furniture store and we passed them when we were coming so now I'm going oh it's only open on the weekends perfect oh, I'm so excited you guys this store is so cool <gasps> wow oh my gosh look at that sofa Oh my god. This is awesome. We just got home a little bit ago and this is the dresser we picked up. Oh, it's not like focusing, but it's a vintage wood dresser that this girl like refurbished and refinished and put new hardware on it, but it's solid wood and it's gorgeous. It's even better in person than I thought it would be. And so I'm going to use this in my new bedroom, but for right now it's gonna live in our dining room. And then let me show you the piece I got at the vintage store. So this is the piece I got at the mid-century modern store. I love it so much. It's a vintage headboard and the brand is Broyhill Brasilia. Brazili Brasilia, I think is how you say it. Um, and I just loved like this vibe. Like I love the wood color. It is stunning. You're seeing my shadow a little bit, but um, I just think it's gorgeous. And this was only $250 and I looked it up after I left and people are selling this for well over $1,000. So, I feel like I got this for such a steal and it is just absolutely beautiful and perfect condition and I just loved it. So I can't wait to get back to that vintage store and <sighs> I can't wait to see my room come together with all of these awesome pieces. I'm running to Goodwill. My car is jam packed with stuff. My family has been doing or like decluttering and I've been decluttering so gonna take this whole car load and get rid of it. <laughs> After Goodwill I went to Home Goods and Target but the only place I bought anything at was Target. I got two mirrors and it's very dark so I can't show them to you properly but you can actually see it better in this picture. I got this mirror which is very like a very large like wall mirror or I'm thinking of propping it up like on a dresser or like a console table. And then I also really liked this one from the Studio McGee collection from Threshold. It just has like an interesting, I don't know, they look like sticks kind of. Um, and so that one's quite a bit smaller. So my uh, bedroom in the new place is very large. So I feel like this will be Nice to have two mirrors, like, I don't know, just around. So <laughs> I really, really liked both of these and I'm excited to put them in their new home. 
And I think I'm going to try to find some like brushed gold hardware to see if I can just jazz up this um, dresser I already have because it's along the color scheme. It's a little lighter than the other pieces I've been buying, but it's a really, really solid piece and I feel like it's just the hardware that makes it look dated to me. So that's going to be like one of my missions is to try to just see where there's like different poles or something that I could try with this because I want to probably get either a console table or another dresser for my bedroom but like I don't necessarily want to buy more um, because I have two in my current bedroom that were hand-me-downs um, and like they're in very good shape and everything but they just look a little dated so I'm thinking if I just get some updated pulls that could work and potentially refinish it if I'm getting <laughs> if I'm feeling adventurous I'm not sure um but yeah, the only problem is this drawer, like, isn't, um, like, it, like, falls off of its track, but I've dealt with that for a long time, so, um, it's nothing I can't handle, <laughs> so I'll let you know if I find some pulls to see if I can update this little baby. Morning, you guys. It's Sunday now, and my goal today is not leave the house. <laughs> we did the most yesterday, like all of us and our family were just like busy all day, um, but we were so productive and it felt awesome and I slept so well, um, but today I just want a chill day and um, we're supposed to get a big snowstorm starting I think in the afternoon, um, so even if I wanted to do things, I would have to do them in the morning and I just do not feel up to doing anything right now. Um, Basically, all I want to do today is start reading A Flicker in the Dark for my book club because I need to get going on this book um, since it will be at the end of January that I do my live stream and that is quickly approaching. And then um, if my family wants to watch it with me, I really want to watch the Harry Potter reunion on HBO Max. That came out on New Year's Day, but we've just been so busy um, that we haven't sat down to watch it. So uh, if they want to do that, we will watch that today. But I really just want to like sit and do nothing and um, I'm just wearing like cozy clothes. I have on one of my favorite sweaters from Target like quite a long time ago and I just showered so I feel like really nice and clean but very like tired and just want to stay in a relaxed mood. For my cozy fragrance of the day, I went like a coffee route, and so I'm using the YSL Black Opium, I think this is Extreme, um, it's the newer one in the all black, and I love this, like it's a sophisticated coffee dark chocolate fragrance, it's really beautiful, I love this, and first I put on the Bath and Body Works Vanilla Mocha Cream Body Lotion. Then I did the perfume. Then I sprayed like my clothes and stuff like that with the Vanilla Mocha Cream Spray. And then to top everything off, I used the um, Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush Number no. 71. And this is like the caramely um, vanilla macadamia scent. <clears throat> to me, it's like caramely. Um, and a little bit coconutty, and it says it's like macadamia and caramelized vanilla, so it's just beautiful and I smell delicious. <laughs> so my plan of not leaving the house changed immediately when I was talking to my mom at breakfast this morning about um, this one little store near us that I didn't realize was like a thrift store and like a vintage furniture store. I thought it just had like arts and crafts supplies. So 
um, that is where I am now. I am looking for like side tables, like nightstand type of things, and lamps. So that is kind of my mission today. I'm also in the market for an area rug, but I feel like I want to see how everything comes together first before deciding on an area rug. Um, but yeah, that is what I'm looking for. No idea what I'm going to find, but I'm excited. There's so many cute things here. I have my measuring tape, so I can measure. It's hard to find like matching things though, like two side tables or two lamps, so we'll see. So the only thing I bought today was this lamp and I really love it. It is a like cut glass or crystal base. It is so pretty and I just have to put some elbow grease into just like shining up these parts. Um, but it was only $5. It doesn't come with a shade, but like Ikea and Target have plenty of shades I can buy and just mix and match with it. But I really love this piece and I just have it sitting on my dresser. I love it. So today I um, mapped out like my bedroom um, to help me figure out where I want to put things. So I'm hoping this will all work, but I'm thinking of putting my bed like on this wall that basically when you walk into the basement, that would be like the um, focal point and I put my headboard in here. Um, but it would be nice for that to be like the focal point of when you walk in. And then I'm thinking to put my black dresser to the right of it. And I think like a... Uh, garment rack or something here because I don't actually have a closet in my bedroom because it's a finished basement. It's not like technically a bedroom, but it can be used as a bedroom. And then I have a closet in my office. And then over here where all this blank space is, this is where I want to do my reading nook. So I want to get a like pretty large area rug for that section and it's a really big area. Um, this wall is 15 feet long. This wall is almost 20 feet long. So I have a really <laughs> large space um, which is awesome but it makes it a little hard to like figure out where to put things just because it's like extra extra large I feel like for a bedroom so um and then this wall where I don't really have anything um I didn't get the dimensions of there's like a the HVAC system in a closet here but then there's like a little wall but I don't know how big that is so that is why this is like blank but anyway I'm making progress and my trusty measuring tape goes with me everywhere uh, but I also wanted to show you guys I really shouldn't be buying clothes because I'm trying to get rid of things um, before I move but these sweaters are my favorite things ever from Abercrombie. I have the one that I currently have laying over there um, to wear tomorrow, but I might wear one of these since these came, like, were delivered early. So these are just beautiful. I love these sweaters. They wash really nice. They dry really nice. And they were on, like, a really great um, sale. So Originally, they're $69, but they were like $40 each, I'm pretty sure, which was actually less than what I bought my original one for. So I got this beautiful, like, pale blue and then a true, like, bright cream color, which I just love. So I have these now <laughs> to have to store, but I just love them. They're so cozy, and I know I'll get tons of wear out of them, so... That is that. Now I think I'm going to sit down and read my book because I don't think I'm going out again because um, the storm is imminent. It's Monday morning and it's snowing. These flakes are so cool. There's like big ones, but it's been like crazy. It's been sleeting, raining, snowing. So it's pretty miserable, but it looks pretty right now. <laughs> 
forgot to wrap up the vlog last night, but I will do that now when I'm wearing one of the sweaters I showed you guys. This is the light blue, and I repainted my nails this morning with Essie Can Do Attitude. It is such a pretty, like, pale sage almost i don't know how to explain this color but it is so pretty and i just love it for like winter to spring even in the summer it's really pretty um but anyway me and Alyssa are just working on um like our utilities getting all that stuff like just deciding what to do setting up installations and payments and all of that fun stuff so yeah but anyway I am going to wrap up the vlog so I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me this weekend and I can't believe how close we are to move in it is like going to be here before we know it so stay tuned I can't wait to share more and more with you guys and I'll see you very soon bye